Hi guys, so let's step into Photoshop. Let me show you how to design this particular flyer. So the dimension that I used to use often is, let's go to new, is 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And that's exactly what we are going to be using in today's video as well. So I'm going to keep here 2000, keep here 2000, set here to pixels. Let's call it um, Eid Mubarak. Okay. I don't know what happened. Eid Mubarak flyer and then let's set here to 72 set here to color white set here to 8 bit and then rgb color click on create now let's zoom out a little bit all right and then let's go to view and then let's go to new guard layout okay and then let's set it to four here four here set here to 100 across if you can't do that make sure you tick these boxes and then click on okay so um, let's start with the background and the background i'm going to bring in this drag it in there guys everything is going to be in the description for you to use and so everything plus the psd will also be made available for your download um it will be in the description you can go to my blog and then find um, the link over there as well all right so i'm going to do something like this i think something like this is quite better maybe increase it a little bit all right awesome now it's it's a white background okay and so i don't need to cut it out i think we're going to maintain a white background because um even this is also a white background so we're going to leave it like that and then let's also go and then let's bring in our eid mubarak as well drag it in there as well enter and drag it on top okay so at least we can see where the Eid Mubarak is going to be now let's click on this one and then select both of them put them in a group and then double click it let's call it BG for background over here let's put it in a group Control G and then let's call it Eid awesome now let's zoom in I want us to hide the Eid click over here on the background let's drag in some pattern because we don't want it to be too boring and then uh, you know we want it to have a little bit more form and stuff so let's resize it all right and then drag it here and then enter and then duplicate it Control t to transform it right click it and then flip horizontal and then maybe hold shift and then drag it like that so that it goes smoothly enter now i also want to make sure that it they touch each other nicely like that all right so let's now put everything in a group ctrl g to put it in a group let's call it text char and with the texture i want us to reduce it all the way to five percent exactly so now it's really in there but it's very subtle and that is what we are looking for give it a mask so that we can be able to clean unwanted areas pick your brush set here to color black go here choose a soft round brush set the hardness to zero normal over here opacity 100 flow 100 over here and then click over here as well and then make sure your caps log is off okay and then increase the size of the brush and then let's click somewhere here once let's click somewhere here two let's click somewhere here three click somewhere there click somewhere there click somewhere there okay so the purpose is just to mask the area that the building or the mosque is okay and i think we've achieved that now let's bring in the eid as well great let's decrease the size a little bit Control t to transform it now we are still at the texture guys let's go to it all right now it control t to transform it enter okay 
let's zoom out a little bit now let's double click it we want to give it some few um, layer styles and so let's double click it and then once it pops up let's drag it here so that we can see what we are doing the first thing we want to do is go to gradient overlay and then i want you to click here and i want you to double click here all right it's going to pop up like this for you okay so the first color code we are going to use is 7a1760 okay and then you click on enter and then over here double click it yeah click just type d92353 okay enter nice and then here double click it f59221 great click on okay click on okay here as well now we have it like this this is awesome this is great um we also want here to be normal we want your opacity to be 100 we want here to be radial we want the reverse and then the align with layer also to be ticked and then over here i want you to type minus one two one minus one uh, <laughs> one two nine great and then the scale over here set it to 150 one five zero okay and then we are done with that but then i can't really fail it well so let's play with it let's see how it's going to be like in fact let's reduce the scale a little bit and then let's see keep on reducing the scale a little bit and then let's see reduce the scale a little bit and then let's see okay reduce the scale a little bit let's see all right we did the scale a little bit and then let's see so i think that the scale um 44 is all right for you guys and so we can experiment the one you would like just um, go with it and then i'll click on ok but i think i think there's more we can do to it so i'm going to zoom in for you to see it well okay double click on the effects over here so now let's go to drop shadow and then um, set here to multiply set the opacity to 71 and then the angle over here let's set it to 90 and also the distance over here we want to set it to 7 and then the spread is going to be 5 and then the size is going to be 0 okay and then let's go to bevel and emboss now bevel and emboss i want to let me drag it here so that you see everything well okay now this is without bevel and emboss okay this is how it looks like it's also nice you can stick with this one but we want to add some bevel and emboss to it to make it more interesting a little bit and so click on bevel and emboss and then go here we are going to set here to inner bevel set here to smooth set here to up and then um over here the depth let's type 532 and then the size over here um type 250 to make it more interesting and then also the soften pull it all the way to 16 all right and then let's come to the shading the shading the angle we are going to leave the angle at 90 and then the altitude at 30 over here and then click over here i want you to come and choose this okay the contour i wanted to choose this click on it and then the screen click over here set it to ff e9 e9 and click on ok set it to screen over here and then over here set it to multiply click over here 2 c 1 e 0 d and click on ok now i want you to set the opacity to 50 over here set the opacity to 50 over here and then i think we are done with it okay just click on okay and you're gonna have something very interesting like this okay so we can close it now i also want to add some message to it 
because you want your um whoever your wh whoever your clients are you want them to read the message so let's just drag it something like that okay and then let's go over here and then the size let's set the size to 46 enter all right and then over here let's set it to zero okay you want here to be zero all right and then let's go and then let's pick our message and then paste it there okay now I want you to drag it outside <laughs> drag it outside E exactly let's see now as you can see the rest are not showing and so we have to fix that now you also want here to be uh, not semi bold okay let's make it regular uh, we don't want everything to be bold let's make it regular and then let's click here let's set it to pure black okay pure black and bring some contrast in there we don't want it to be caps the click here also let's make it the normal case awesome 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 and then over here i think the leading is too much we can set it to maybe around 65 let's see okay and then go here to paragraph make it middle align awesome and then let's go back let's see what else do we have to add um over here let's make it 40 to make sure it's spread out a little bit for you okay and i think this is great so far so we are done with it like this and then we can go and maybe pick our logo okay now if you have a logo just drag it just drag it in there uh, maybe i'll pick this i'll drag it in there yes and then resize it all right I'll click here and i'll move it somewhere here also remember guys everything is middle aligned so let's go to eat let's check whether eat is middle aligned if it is not middle aligned we'll fix it so you can see it falls in the middle there nicely exactly now you can also see that the mosque over here it falls in the middle of the that is the roof or whatever it is it's also very nice that way we also want the text to also fall in the middle so let's click on the text now these are tw little tweaks that we have to get them right so the text is not in the middle let's move it to the middle awesome and now we can click on our text tool and type somewhere here let's come and pick ignite connections and then let's paste it there in fact let's type it again um type over here and let's paste ignite connections and then let's um let's put this in the group guys sorry okay you know i like to always organize my stuff this is message message all right this is it message all right and then this is going to be our logo logo let's open it now with this one ignite connections open it up and then let's try and see whether we can fix it we want here to be Montserrat but then let's make it very bold let's make it semi bold over here all right and then let's drag it okay and then let's put it in a group now i want it to be very small so i'm going to drag it like that and then also keep it in the middle as well and guys 
feel like we are almost done or we are even done so um what is next what can we do else to make it more interesting i think we need to add some adjustments to it and the adjustment uh, i am going to use a gradient map and then the gradient map um i am going to set here to pure black and then i'm going to set here to pure white okay now it's going to brighten the white areas and it's going to also um deepen the darker areas and so let's go here and then soft light okay so this is what it was at first and this is what it looks like now okay i feel like we should reduce it a little bit okay so maybe it's around 50 percent let's put it in a group and then let's call it add just mint okay and then finally we need to add some glue to it the glue is also another one magic component to make your flyers stand out and make them beautiful so i'm going to hold click on my brush hold out pick the white area here create a new layer guys you realize i've created a new area a layer over there make sure your caps lock is off reduce the size of your brush and then click somewhere here okay now you want to move it in a little bit great duplicate it and then drag it here as well all right and then um this let's increase it a little bit more okay and then pull it somewhere here and then you want the opacity to go to maybe somewhere around um let's see 80. all right so so guys that's it now if let's put it in a group let's name it glow so guys remember if you love this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already comment as well let me know your minds like this video share it as well and then guys please i have many um psd file also the link is over there you can click on it and then to lead you to my store where you can get all those PS psd files and this psd file is going to be in the description together with the resource files to create something like this i love you i'll see you in the next video peace